Hi everyone, Cordell here with Vention Apparatus and 911 Rapid Response. Behind me here I have a Ford F550 Surge package we've recently completed for a client. I'm going to walk you around the truck now and show you some of the unique things we've been able to work in on this project. So looking at the truck here, like I stated, it's a Ford F550 four-wheel drive. This unit has the V10 gas motor in it and it's going to feature a 12-foot all-aluminum module on the back built here in-house by Vengeant Manufacturing. So what this module is uh, constructed of is a rigid aluminum cage stru structure built by a 2x3 box tube that's quarter inch wall thickness and what that allows us to do with our cage construction and our outer shell being an extruded aluminum construction it allows us to really open up the inside and customize these bodies in ways you couldn't do in a truck where your compartmentation is providing some of that structure. So starting here on our body, opening up our front compartment, you can see this is a transverse compartment. Now we can customize these trucks to your specific needs and when we were speaking with this client one thing uh, that they were concerned with that they could not accomplish well with their current unit was carrying this Stokes basket. So the options for this when we had talked originally were, well, maybe we put it on the roof. But when you put an object like this on the roof, you run into some ergonomic struggles where you now have guys having to step up onto your bumper and remove that from the roof. There's, there's some chances there for an accident, someone falls, something like that, when you're, when you're loading something from overhead. So what this allows for, as you can see, is this is now chest height. It's right here. It's very accessible where myself and another person, if need be, can easily load and unload this from either side of the truck. The transverse compartment features a transverse tray here. This tray will slide out 70% travel either side of the truck and it will hold a thousand pounds in doing so. All of the trucks as well, um, we line our compartments with the um, Kinder track so we are actually able to adapt this over time. Let's say this needs to move and we need to mount something else or we need to mount other things over there. You're not having to drill any holes into the truck later in its life shall your needs change. Uh, we try to think ahead for you. All of our builds, uh, right here below me you can see a compartment that is ventilated. All of the electronics for the truck live within this compartment. Um, so this truck specifically is featuring a wheel-in carbide system. It actually ties into the OBD2 port on the vehicle and I'll be able to talk around some of the cool functionality that provides for us as well. So everything you see here from the entire truck was done all in-house. Our body was built in-house, the lighting was done in-house, the graphics were done in-house. Um, there's, there's no third parties involved here, there's no fingers to point anywhere. It's all sole source manufacturing. Um, so including the mounting for all of the items you see here, and you know we, we even have the ability to provide you an AED if you don't already have one and stuff like that. So uh, any, any equipment that you see in the truck, you know, keep in mind we're able to provide that as well. So opening our wheel well compartment, another thing we like to do with a wheel well compartment is we want to keep, depending what our needs are uh, with, with, within this vehicle, we try to keep our entry height to this compartment as low as possible because again, you are taking away having to reach up high and, and pull things down towards you. So um, what we had done in this vehicle, instead of doing uh, SCBA seats, we've actually elected to mount their SCBAs in the compartments here, or I should rather say the, the department elected to mount their SCBAs in the, in the compartments. So here we have mounting devices for two SCBAs, and then we have some flashlights here secured, uh, hooked up to charge that will charge when the truck is in the station or while they are out on the street. So they always have their items charged and ready to go. Here we can see more pack track lines the back of this compartment, again, just for that future proofing shall needs change and you wanna take out these shelves, which are adjustable, you are able to do that. And you can see this compartment, all of our compartments are lined with a polyurea coating that's done by, um, it's an eighth inch thick coating, it's a full wrap, um, so it's very rugged, it's not easy to chip off or anything like that, so it's going to provide uh, superior protection for you uh, for, for many years to come. Not only do we design our compartments like that, but we also have a sweep out style compartment, so if there's any anything ever anything in this compartment, you're simply able to sweep it out. You don't have a lip or anything like that uh, to catch on anything. These are ROM roll-up doors. They're painted to match the body. Really clean. 
Now, as I mentioned, we can customize these trucks. So as you see now, we have a transverse compartment in the front and the wheel well compartment and the rear compartment here are set up as such that they're only uh, 24 inch deep compartments. What that provides for us is the ability to do an extremely deep rear compartment, which what we're able to do there with that is do a 120% ROM slide tray that'll come out here, which we had done some more custom work on as well. So if we were to change this design up, we could actually do a transverse front compartment, transverse middle compartment, and that would just shrink down our rear compartment. Or we can uh, disband the front transverse compartment and we can make this rear compartment even deeper. We can delete the roof to the top of this. You can do an open pickup style back. It's really dependent upon what your needs are. You know, we can kind of tailor these trucks however need be. On this tray, we've done some custom mounting for the client. Here we have their oil absorbance in a, a nice little uh, holder here, uh, just a little over the top. We have a, we have a water jet in-house and so we like to kind of provide some nice little personal touches and stuff like that. We'll show you uh, that on other parts of the truck as well. Um, but nice 100% slide tray. That way you're not having to reach in over the bumper to try and get anything out. All of the items are going to be able to come all the way out of the truck uh, to again have that ergonomic access. Up here at the top, what we feature is an aero stick that has the ability um, to not only be warning, but also arrow. Um, this was built by our team in-house and is accomplished through our wheel and carbide package. So what that is, is actually wheel and T-ions um, that we are actually able to sequence. Here we have M9s with our scene lights on the lower half. So when the vehicle's placed in reverse, you actually get scene lights down below, a high output backup light, and you're able to trigger that as well uh, when you're not in reverse. This truck, the client's actually going to be pulling a trailer with. So what we have here is a class five hitch receiver, wiring hookups for the trailer, and also an additional pin here because the trailer has lighting on as well that's able to be controlled by the truck. When the hitch is not in, in use, so it's not there to run into, we have a nice little small compartment back here that you're able to store your hitch out of the way um, so it's not a, a tripping hazard for anyone at the rear of the vehicle here. Continue around to the other side of the truck here. And you're going to see it's mostly a duplicate as the other side of the truck, but you can see just how much room there is in these wheel well compartments. You know, here we have two air packs, they have a water can, irons lock here. Um, you can really fit a lot in here. Just want to showcase the transverse tray here for you. Like I said, this will travel 70% out of the vehicle. This does have locking detents throughout. Very smooth. These trays are an ROM tray, just like the roll-up doors. Uh, fantastic trays. And some more personal touches here for the department. These are just SCBA cylinder holders. We have two located on this side of the truck and one on the other side of the vehicle. This light here is a nice, uh, it's actually called a dock light, but what this provides is a 45 degree illumination when the vehicle's in reverse. So when you are looking in your mirrors, you get a clear illumination uh, all throughout the vehicle. Like I said, we have the scene lights in the back, this off to the side. Warning and scene complement here on the side. We have the Whelan M7 warning, and here we have the FireTech Junior scene light series, which is a combination spot flood. Here we have the Whelan 500 V series warning, which is going to give us some straight on warning and also this nice angular warning. So you're getting, you're getting a nice warning sequence all throughout the vehicle. As we travel up along here, we have the Whelan Pioneer pole lights. This is a Pioneer Plus series, a very nice light. That's all 12 volts. Everything on the truck is 12 volts. And with that carbide package, uh, we're able to tie into that OBD, OBD2 port, like I had said, and really do some nice customizations with different functions. When you open up the doors, um, we're able to actually sequence off certain lighting. If it were to be blinding, uh, we could temporarily disable a few modules in the light bar. 
We can also illuminate, it's hard to see in the daylight, but we illuminate the entire running board there, as well as there's underbody lighting at 10 spots all throughout this truck. So there's a nice halo up close to the truck at nighttime, and also then you have that other lighting cascading out further. So it's a really safe working environment around this vehicle. Coming around the front of the vehicle here, we're going to finish out our lighting complement of more of the Wheelan 500 V series located on the side front fender and the front of the grill here as well. And then up above, we have our Whelan Liberty 2 LED light bar with the built-in infrared traffic emitter. Here on the front of the vehicle, some more custom touches we did for this client is they wanted the ability to use a front hitch with their trailer for when they're moving their trailer through tight spaces, they can actually hook the trailer to the front of the truck and navigate some tight corridors that way. Here we also have a nice personal touch for them in the front with their department name and this light, or I'm sorry, this is actually backlit with an RGB light. So what will happen here is at nighttime operation, when they are rolling down the road without warning lights, it'll be an uh, amber backlight to be DOT compliant. When they are parked and their ground lights are on, it will illuminate green. And they are responding, it just simply glows red. Uh, just some nice little personal touches we can work in with that carbide package and uh, some of our abilities here in-house. Uh, the graphics team as well, Market Graphics did a wonderful job on this truck here. We have the inlay with the Super Duty and the hood here, as well as this nice silver leaf on the side of the truck. So this truck was an, a full custom paint to match the company's uh, newer engine that they have. So that is why uh, the cab was a full custom paint, the body was a full custom paint, and the graphics package, it's all a replica of the larger unit they have in-house. All right guys, here we are on the interior of the Ford F550. So this vehicle, like I had stated in the, in the rear, has the backup camera. And this backup camera not only provides the reverse image, but it also will amplify any voice at the rear of the truck. So uh, if someone's directing you, you can actually hear them through an audible broadcasted speaker in the display. Here on the center console, we work down through, uh, we have a voltage readout. We have our USB charging. Uh, shall they have accessories, their, their phones or anything like that they may need to charge on a, on a long call. Um, we have the controls here for an onboard inverter. So we have an auto charger inverter combination unit on this truck. We have the Havis mount here for their iPad, which keeps everything charged up and ready to go at all times. It is lockable for security in this unit. And here we have our Whelan uh, carbide control system. So this is a control head you'll see in a lot of our builds. We have independent control of functions here on the top, a three position slide switch, and then a rotary knob for our siren, as well as our controls for our aerostick down here below. Uh, very simple use, uh, try, try and keep everything very simple so it feels uh, the least like an airplane, airplane cockpit as possible. Here we have the client's mobile radio, and we've actually done a nice little custom touch here as well. Uh, we have their uh, establishment date uh, in the faceplate for their radio here. Uh, just a nice little custom touch. Uh, in the back here, they wanted their portable kind of recess down here in the um, center console, so we were able to accomplish that for them. And then, of course, we have to have those cup holders here at the back. So, again, the consoles completely can be customized to your needs, uh, whatever is going to suit your department best. All right, everyone, thank you for taking the time to check out this video. I'm Cordell for Vention Apparatus. If you like what you see, let us know your feedback below. We would love to build your next truck. Reach out to us if you have any questions, comments, and uh, have a great day, guys.